PC President Father Shanley is wrapping up his tenure at Providence College after 15 years at the end of the month, and he had such an impact on the athletic department. So I wanted to know what his legacy is with the coaches, players, and administrators involved. If you've been to a PC athletic event, chances are you've seen President Father Brian Shanley. And it's no coincidence the success of the Friars in athletics in recent years has come under his leadership from the top. The best president I've ever worked for in 46 years, but more, more importantly than being a president, he was a great friend and a teammate. I mean, you look what we've been able to accomplish over the last 15 years with national championship, Big East championships. Shanley and AD Bob Driscoll's close relationship with their coaches, notably Ed Cooley and Nate Lehman, have led to a lot of wins and a lot of fundraising. Shanley, the school's number one cheerleader. Him attending games, him coming in the locker room after the games to shake hands, um, him traveling with us. It's just been it's just been such a pleasure to be around someone that's such a good leader and such a good mentor. Shanley has said his fondest memory at PC came when the Friars hockey team won the championship in 2015 at the TD Garden. I was so happy he got to experience that after the game and be in all the pictures uh, with the trophy and with the team because he was just as much a part of the team as as uh, I was as a coach. Father Shanley's right-hand man, Father Sicard, will take over July 1st, maintaining some continuity, but still, Shanley will be missed. I don't think we'll skip a beat, but there's only one Father Shanley. Uh, men like him come around once in a lifetime relative to supporting the program, so uh, he's going to be missed. And Mike Montecalvo has an in-depth conversation with Father Shanley in a story airing beginning on Thursday at 5 here on WPRI 12 in Fox Providence.